So one of our lists that we made has quite a few stocks popping off here. Now this is a daily list. So we can see ZOM, TRCH, TOPS, SOS, SNDL, SHIP, SENS, PLSA, PLSB, NAK, LKCO, ITRM, GSAT, GE, FSR, so that's Fisker, and DNN, CTRM, and AT, or ARTL. That's my mistake. ARTL. Okay. Let's get rid of level two there. And let's pull up, say, our Kapok curve for the weekly. Now, quite a few stocks pop up there on the weekly. Let's go for the daily. And DPW and Hylion. So let's come out to the daily here. And we can see the daily and the daily. Okay. Let's check out what is above 30 on the ADX. Let's see LEU, China Liberal Education Holdings. Okay. Of course, it crossed below the Kapok curve. It must be coming back up now. Okay. And let's check some Darvis signals, and then we'll go to some CMO signals. So let's see our weekly Darvis signals. Quite a few stocks here. BNGOs on our list. Let's see. MRBL, MU. Okay. Now that being daily, let's go and check out our Okay, and QuantumScape. So many on the day are going off. All right, so keep these in mind. You know, take note of these on the side here. But these are the ones showing a Darvis box buy signal, a Darvis breakout on the day. Not that you should take any, you know, you should always go and do your own research and decide whether it's a you know, a good choice here. Let's check it out on the four hour. See what is happening on our four hour Darvis buys. Looks like we've got B U R, C R N C, C R O X, C Z Z, F I B K, H Z N, J E L D, L V S, O C U L, and W E T F. Wisdom Tree Investments. And here it crosses our lower Kapok curve study, bounces off zero here, crosses the, you know, I guess this 50% line. Okay, that's when we, uh, it would have signaled on our Kapok study. Okay. So we really need to get when it, uh, you know, starts moving above zero. But. Okay. And. Let's check out our CMOs, whether it's the low on the daily. So these are probably going to be red. Well, many of them are red. And these are ones that are pulling back on the day. Or they should be hitting recent lows very soon. And then these are the ones that are just in the opposite direction of the ones we just saw. Let's check out the daily here. So the ones that are on the daily uh, CMO 
So that'd be, say, crossing like 25 or something. That's M-A-T-X. And it did uh, have a Darvis breakout and price went up. And, eh, not so attractive there. H-S-D-T. There was a Darvis breakout there, so we should be expecting price to go up also. Huge spike though, right there. Let's see, uh, weekly. Okay, so AGTC, FMO, HUYA, HUYA, LEAF. Let's check out HUYA. Oh wow. Go HUYA, go. So look at this right here. This was neat action. Bounced down. Fired right back up here. Alright, so had we caught Huya when it bottomed out and then got this Darvis breakout buy signal and held. So that's why I like looking for the Darvis breakout signals. Now there's of course other things I look for, but that's one of them. Okay. Now... Just because I'm curious, let's see if there's anything on this extra special indicator I created. Bunch of signals thrown in there, so it may take it a while to read them. And of course we may not get anything. But maybe on the mm, four hour? Of course what showed up there earlier may not show up now. It's a very specific type of scan. Okay, CMO less than 35 for the daily on all stocks. Let's check this one out. Okay, so the scanner's working. Interesting. Alright. Looks like Hormel has hit a little bit of a low, bounced back up. Okay. Green overbought. Let's see what is see also bullish okay quite a few of these so these are some bullish stocks by the Arun standards okay See if anything with our chef indicators or say our squeeze indicators are uh, showing anything. Yeah, I've noticed it seems like almost certain um, parts of the scanners haven't been working here lately. this one. And I don't think anything 
that's going to show up here until the market opens. So let's look for something on the daily where okay, well, PYPL looks like it's uh, PayPal. Of course, of course, PayPal. Okay, so PayPal's having some action right now. Or, you know, it looks like it's going to do well, market open. Okay, nothing showing up on our watch list here. So we'll move it right along. Okay. And we'll see what this comes up with. Back to our charts. Let's pop up Tesla here. Okay, now looking at this Kapok curve, that was a nice move there, nice move there. Now when this broke above this half mark, look what happened. It broke out and price went up, made a big bull flag there. It's kind of interesting movement. Does it happen again? It happens right here when it does it too. Breaks above this half mark, boom. Darvis buy signal, break out, bull flag. So of course that's only Tesla. Maybe let's look at Apple. Um, okay, now when it breaks out here, we do get a tiny little bull flag, but the big one was right here. Okay, let's uh, maybe pull out to the weekly. And we can see we get a buy way down here. We get a buy way down here. And of course, you get more like a daily buy signal in here for a daily Kapok curve. Um, but you know these signals and on the looks like on a lower time frame it would have said to buy way way back here so we got buys here buys here and buys here um, by our Kapok curve standards um, okay nothing has showed up on our watch list nothing is shown showing much of a delay. Okay, so on daily, Kapok curves, uh, you know, price goes up. Yeah, it hasn't quite happened yet, but is it going to come up above that? I would expect it to. So, let's, uh, maybe if price goes up, it'll pop up again. Very neat. Okay, let's check out Neo. Yeah, it, it, it kind of did some similar action here. And bring this out to the weekly and when it struck above zero look at how price just skyrocketed up so it's it's really nice to look out for these buy signals in the Kapok curve and to look for when the Kapok curve is above uh, say the 50% line that just around or just under the 50% line is a great place to be watching for Okay, so within my recent uh, experimenting with this Kapok curve uh, indicator, so now we can, you know, uh, well, we've turned that into about a scan or a watch list. So now we know when it's true on the day or the week uh, that, you know, we should be looking at it. Now, for a bit of our more traditional fun here. Okay, so back here would have been the more ideal spot. Okay, but let's check this on some lower time frames. See what our, our moves look like. Okay. Not real great. And nothing on the weekly Kapok list now. And there was earlier. Plus now they're going through, say, like an update or something. Let's see if there's anything on the daily list now. Alright. 
So I'm going to say that's probably everything that's going to show up for our watch list that is of value for today. Yeah. Maybe trend noise periods could be a good one to know about for today if we can get it to show. So we'll let that uh, generate and see if that pops up. But otherwise, this shaft indicator for NEO, look at it breaking just above this 25 on the day. I mean, that's a really good sign, being that it's still in bullish momentum and showing more bullish momentum and about to exit a squeeze. So that could really be good for NEO. Wonderful. And it last was an up signal on the TTM scalper. I love it. Oh, yes. Okay. Now let's check this on the 4-hour. And this should technically show up. Now, if we come down here to uh, one of our shaft, uh, you know, uh, indicators. Come here. Less than 25. Of course, it's not less than 25 now, ready to fire long. It's crossing above 25. So, you know, but this would count as less than 25, ready to fire long on the 4-hour. So, let's go and put that in there. And no, that's weekly, bearish daily. <laughs> there we go. And it should be on this list here if it will ever populate. Because this is one of the signals we look for. So, I'll be watching for a upwards firing signal very soon. Okay. What else can we pull up here? been a fairly accurate uh, trading trading session our little bot would have done well in the four hour time frames seems to be like he would have done okay in the the half hour time frame too so alright well I think that's really about it for today, so happy trading. Everybody get out there and make some money, but uh, yeah, this certainly does look interesting in NEO, so let's keep that in mind, and uh, let's just keep watching it. So yeah, this certainly looks like an interesting uh, candlestick pattern as well. You know, everything seems to be of a very fair value in NEO right now for what it's about to do. But, eh, happy trading.